Both of these title fighters touching gloves. We're getting ready for our welterweight contest. We have Ed, Superman Shoop, taking on Kahim Murray. The dream versus Superman. Ed Shoop looked fired up before this fight. He's ready to go. He wants that title. When Shoop was uh, making his uh, rounds back and forth when he walked in the cage, he kept looking at Kahim saying, you're going down, you're going down. Yeah, when Kahim, I asked for the prediction from Shoup, he said, finish him, and again, another team shut, shut him down. Shut him down, nice jab by Shoup. This one we're getting to see a little bit longer of a round two. Neither fighter's wearing shin guards. We're in our advanced amateur rules. Should be a good one. Both guys feeling each other out. I saw right hand barely landed there. Oh, now uh, Shoup's looking for a single leg. Gets a takedown on Murray. Murray's holding on to the head. And Shoop's in a side control. He's got the arm dripped over his head. Great position here for Shoop. Nice. Now he's got that arm locked up under his head and arm. See, he's going to look to maybe go to mount. Maybe possibly looking for an arm triangle if Murray keeps that arm in the wrong position. Nope, now he's back. Neon on belly nice mount. to the mount. Ooh. Some nice ground and pound. From Murray Shoup. is bridging hard right in front of us. Shoop's doing a great job of controlling the action right now. He's got that underhook. His left arm here is able to hold him down, maybe isolate that arm. Kahim's doing look well defending himself, but it's all Shoop as of right now. Oh, he's pushing that arm across. I feel like he's looking for an arm triangle. Now, Kahim's no stranger on the ground. He does have one submission win, one TKO win, one split decision win. He's a versatile fighter, but he prides himself on his stand-up, he says. Yeah. He's he predicted got a second-round TKO, but at the moment, this is all Ed Shoot. Oh, there it is again. Once he gets those hands locked, Shoot needs to get his head to the mat. If he can get his head to the mat and drive that arm across. There's that neon belly again. Now he's going to work him over to the cage. Just a great position for Shoot to be in right here. To land shots, control the... Control the distance between them. Oh, now Murray's back to, into a half guard position here. It's great that Shoup has his uh, opponent pressed in his corner so he can hear his cornerman a little bit better. He's right there. Always nice. Shoup's doing a good job. Looking to put that right foot into the leg, maybe trying to pass that half guard. Some guys, some wrestlers are totally okay with just chilling in half guard and landing shots. Referee's looking to stand him up. I, I wouldn't stand him up from this position. Shoop's working. He worked hard to get this spot. Ed Shoop in the orange trunks representing New World MMA and Team Shut. And we have Kahim Murray representing Next Level MMA Navone. Ten seconds left. This round's been all Shoop. Oh, there's Seeing some shots. to close the round out. One round in the books for this title fight. Ed, Superman Shoop taking on Kahim Murray. He also said that he was the best wrestler on the East Coast. So he's showing it here Very in that first round. said that. Miss with that lead leg kick. Murray's going to have to keep the distance here. He's got to circle, 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 and stay away from, stay away from that clinch. Changing levels nice with the jab a little bit. Trying to maybe throw him off a little bit. He's definitely got to set up his shots. Looking for one big shot. Steph is going to let him, let Shoop get his hands on him again. Looks like he was looking for an uppercut there maybe. Ed Shoop in the orange trunks. Kahim Murray in the white cage trunks. 
Shoop's looking for a right hand. Murray's looking to set something up. Eyes open. Kahim's hands are down a little bit, a little worrisome. I think he might be baiting Shoop into coming in at him a little bit and throwing a punch maybe to counter him. Oh, nice takedown. Just got on the ankles and yeah. now Murray's on the ground again. Back to half guard. This time Shoop attains a takedown but we're in Murray's corner now. See if uh, they can help him out here. Maybe either do a little wall walking. Looks like he's getting back to full guard. Shoop maybe stand up here. Very pro Shoop crowd behind us. Uh, Mur Murray maybe here just looking to hold, possibly get a stand up. Oh, trying to get back to full guard. Very tough when your head is rammed up against the cage. Kahim's looking to scramble and get back to his feet. Shoop shuts it down. One of the worst feelings as a stand-up fighter has to be just constantly being controlled, having another wrestler all over you. Feeling like a fish out of water. Yeah. I think a lot of guys who are stand-up fighters in MMA that are just getting into it need to really work on standing back up almost as an art form in itself, as being able to stand back up. And it's always funny to hear the uh, strikers getting into MMA that just think with the wrestlers and the grapplers, I'll just knock them out. Yeah. Not that easy. Not that easy. Now uh, Murray, Murray looks... Gets back to full guard, but very hard to throw any attacks or stand back up when your head's jammed up against that fence. Another round in the books for this title fight. Ed Superman, Shoop, and Kahim Murray. Zach, I think it's all Ed Shoop right now. Oh, for sure. He controlled both those rounds, yeah. two takedowns. Both guys look in shape. Neither is breathing too heavy. Round three. Kahim Murray does look a little disappointed, a little disgruntled, and I can only imagine. He's got to do something in this round. So far, it's been all edge Superman shoot. He came at him too hard right there. Now he's got the front headlock. He can't run at him here. He's really got to use his footwork and distance to stay away from Shoop. Oh! You can't force your strikes against a wrestler. You just can't. He's getting Set back. Set it up, let him oh. go. He's doing a good job this time of staying on the front headlock position, but really not able to do much with it. He's going to either have to look for maybe a guillotine or take the back, or he may be better off just pushing him off and standing back up here and trying to bring the, the fight back up to the feet. I would think that would probably be in his best interest. Just, just like that, and he dove right back in. He's allowing Shoop to get on his leg. He's doing a good job sprawling, but it's only a matter of time sometimes before he gets you Back up to the cage and back down on his butt. And Shoop grabbed that ankle and drug him right back down. Stepping over to a leg drag here. Oh, now he's back up on top. Side control. He's con Some nice shots to the face from Ed Shoop. He is all over Kahim Murray. Murray's going to need a, uh, a grand slam on this one to get it done because Ed Shoop's about to walk home with some new hardware. Wow, now Shoop decides to let him up. Oh, and shoots right back in on a low, low single ankle pick maybe. Oh, another takedown. Murray keeps having, keeps getting into a situation where he's crossed up between striking and wrestling. Nice knees to the ribs. As Shoop said, he was the best wrestler on the East Coast. I don't know about the best, but he's looking phenomenal tonight. He's got his arms trapped. Mm -hmm. That le left leg was trapping his arm, allowed him to hit some nice shots to the body. 
Got to be close to the end of this round. Murray is really up against the cage now. He's going to, looks like he's going to end the round. The body from Shoop on top. 10 seconds left in this welterweight championship. Ed Superman Shoop and Kahi Murray. And it's looking like a crystal clear decision victory is going for Ed Superman Shoop. New champion Edge Superman Shoop here at X Fights 2, and we will be right back for more title action.